All right, guys. So I just got over here after work. It's probably six o'clock. Yeah, 10 after six right now. Today's gonna be simple. I'm gonna start the process of getting the engine ready to be pulled out. Uh, so today is trying to label as many of the wires and hoses as I can so that I know where everything goes when I put it back together because pictures are not, I guarantee you I'm gonna forget where something goes and it's gonna irritate me and I'm not gonna be able to get it fixed. And I'm gonna look like an idiot when I ask on Facebook where it goes. So try to avoid that embarrassment, label everything I possibly can and see what that gives me today. So let's get started. This might seem obvious to some of you, but in a spot that's hard to get to, like this little wire right here, you take your tape and you get sticky tape. Some of it's crap. If you get tape that's sticky enough, get through, take your finger, press against it, and it sticks usually well enough that you can feed it back up through like that and pull it through. It may seem common sense, but somebody may not know that and may help them. So there you go. I'm even going to go as far as labeling the battery terminals because it's a lot cheaper and easier to label every possible thing you can now versus getting it so messed up that you have to take it to a dealership or a mechanic or pay somebody that really knows what they're doing <laughs> to fix it for you, to fix your F-ups. So label everything. You don't think it needs a label? Label it anyway. You don't want to forget where stuff goes. And it's starting to rain on me. So I think we'll take a break for a minute and head inside and see if it passes. Probably not going to disconnect anything today simply because I don't feel like digging into it yet. But everything you can see, a wire hanging from, a hose hanging from, any connectors at all. Gotta label that one. Don't know where that goes. Some you can't get to. Some you have to label as you pull the engine and pull pieces off. Obviously you can't get to the coals and stuff under the intercooler until you get the intercooler off. There's some hoses and stuff that I actually labeled a little further up, but I can slide down if I need to. Connectors like that, easier to get to. Just stuff that's easier to get to when you get the front off, top off, intake off, things like that. So there'll be some stuff not labeled, but a little piece here and there after work every day or every other day. We'll get it done. All right, so wait till the rain went away, ate some dinner. I got most everything I can reach easily, especially up top, labeled. Um, there's some stuff I can move out of the way and label a couple other things, but I'm going to start actually, well, actually labeling them, actually writing on them versus just flagging them. So let's do it. So even if you don't know what it's called or what it's a job is off the top of your head or you forget, something simple like top of intake, 
it, you can't see it, but it routes under, down, to top of intake. Front, top, whatever. But it's that versus this one that connects to the intake. Looks like intake below it. But that little bit discerning, yep. I can label that one front of intake and this one top of intake, and I'll know the difference aside from the hose size when I go to put it back together. All right, well, starting to rain again. So I guess I'm gonna wrap a few more things up, try and wrap a few more things up that I can kind of squeeze to and call tonight, won't even label them. So let's get it done. Thanks guys, see you next time.